Scripts, plugins, presets, extensions. The world of third-party tools for After Effects is vast and possibly quite endless. And while most of these may introduce stuff like a complex particle system or 3D application, in this new series with Fidevo, we're gonna have a look at five scripts and extensions that help make you a more proficient motion graphics editor inside of After Effects. It may reduce something to one click from five, and it may help you clean up a timeline in a way that was not otherwise present. First, we're gonna have a look at one of my favorite scripts, which is Anchor Sniper, which seeks to really revolutionize the way that users can use anchor points inside of After Effects. All right, guys, Anchor Sniper. It's $15 and it really revolutionizes how you use anchor points in After Effects. What is an anchor point? An anchor point is a position on a layer that is used as a base for all transformation properties. So in this composition, I've just brought in an assortment of assets. I've got a circle that I've created, a bunny picture from Freepik and some text that says subscribe. Although as a side note, this is the font that was used for the drive poster, the more you know. And what you will see is when I click each item is that we have this cross here appear and that is the anchor point. Now, when you create a shape, the anchor point is the center of the composition. And when you create text, the anchor point is the bottom left of the text layer. Usually this is not ideal because if I want to say, have a pop-up effect on the shape layer, usually we would look to animate the scale. But if I increase and decrease the scale, we can see that it's animating towards the anchor point. And with the text, maybe if I wanted to rotate it, you know, it's rotating from that bottom left. Usually I would want it dead center. How do we change the anchor point to get to dead center? Well, if you press A on a layer, that is how you can reach the anchor point properties. And if I move this up and then slide it across, somewhat central, uh, that is one way in how you can move the anchor point, but that is far too much clicking about and uh, certainly a tedious manner of changing the anchor point's position. So another way, if I click the circle, is to go to layer, transform, and center anchor point in layer content, which is also control alt home on a PC. And now we've got that dead center. So if I was to increase the scale, we can see that's working fine. Conversely, we can also use this tool, which is pan behind or uh, Y on the keyboard. And then we can move this wherever we want more of a, a free ranging tool. So they are the preliminary methods of changing an anchor points position in After Effects. Is it difficult? No. Is it one too many clicks? Yes. So let's run the anchor sniper script to see uh, how more efficient we can get it. So we now have this menu pop out. This can be docked anywhere in the UI um, if you would prefer to give it more of a home base. Uh, but we have these designated targets in this uh, menu panel, uh, top, center, bottom right, right, and so on. And you can probably guess what's gonna happen when you click it. So we don't have to go up to layer. We don't have to use the pan behind tool. Instead, if I want this at the right hand side, I'm gonna click that and immediately we have the anchor point on the right hand side of the circle. So now it's gonna scale in and out there or maybe put it dead center and it's gonna rotate from the central point. Same with the text. It doesn't matter what type of layer this is. It can be multiple layers. It can be a vector, PSD file, text. Uh, it's all gonna work the same. Let's bring this to the top. And now it's gonna, uh, if I bring the rotation levels, it's gonna rotate from that top anchor point. It's instant. To be honest, this sort of functionality should be in After Effects. So while it's a quick and efficient tool that allows you to immediately center or you know, position an anchor point somewhere around the composition, around the layer, sorry. It's also a smart tool. So what do I mean by that? So we've got this bunny. I'm just gonna bring this up. In fact, let's remove that circle and the text of the time being. And if I press the anchor target to be to the top, it's gonna to scan it and then position the anchor target at the top. So now if I scale or rotate, it's all being manipulated from that anchor position at the top of the layer. What if I want it to be somewhere on the bunny itself? Because what I'm gonna do 
is I want to remove that line background and I'm just going to be very cheeky and use key light because it is a solid color and be a lot faster than masking. So now the anchor sniper script is going to be able to read that alpha channel information and avoid it. So if I select this, it might take a little bit longer than usual because it's scanning for that information. We can now see that the anchor point is positioned at the very tip of the ear where that color information resides. So if I rotate this, it's going to rotate specifically from the ear, not from the top of the layer. And we can see the top of the layer is here. And again, if I say, let's go to the bottom, maybe I want the, the rabbit to scale up from its foot. So now if I was to scale it down, you know, it's growing from the foot rather than the bottom of the layer. So it's not only fast and efficient, but it is also very smart. And for $15, this is one of the most standout steals that you can uh, acquire from our list of recommended scripts and extensions. All right, I've been Lewis with Fedivo and this has been one episode of our helpful scripts and extensions for After Effects. If you haven't watched the others, they will be dotted somewhere around the video, so be sure to check them out.